Okay, now this one is a definite keeper for me. I want to do some work on this one. Um, I'm really happy, you know, for a dig where I might pull up 50 or so or 30 or 40 of this sort of size, you know, if I get four or five of them that have this sort of potential, then I'm really happy. Lots of good, strong growth. Tells me this is a very happy tree. Um, see the sites of some early chunk cropping. This is a, I went in this pot this year, so I've definitely got the, um, the video nice. of that. Uh, I've got two more that are in these uh, adapted, adapted plant pots. That is another glorious, glorious one. Let's hope the roots are good. Encouraging. You can see the difference. These are much more uh, porous, porous uh, substrate mixture, whatever. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Rubbish. Okay. Whatever the soil was like, the weeds liked it, so that's always fine. Makes you can grow in it. Get rid of this stuff then. Before we have a look at what the roots look like. What I really want to see is what this is like because I'm hoping the roots on this, certainly with this soil I've used, will be really ideal. And in truth, I could have left it in that pot another year. I suppose the thing is, is I've got I've had such a mixed result because I lose track of um, what soil type I use, <laughs> rubbish or vaguely good. Um, so I'm, I'm nervous enough that I'll just basically check all of these. Well, this has definitely got some roots on it, usable. Get rid of that. Yep, can go. I think I kept that on last time because there was no roots. I was worried that uh, That's how you've got a nice pile there, so that's be a little bit more. Oh, that's, oh I'm happy with that. Oh, look at that. Do you know? I think back all those years, did I ever imagine myself getting excited over a load of roots? Do anything. Now, what I haven't got is anything under there, so that is staying. That's not giving me anything. That's not giving me anything. That's lovely, lovely mat. Mat of roots, not mat. I don't know where mat is. In there, get rid of that. I think there's a worm. Sorry, Mr. Worm. So what have I got underneath? It's actually coming from right around the back of the tree here. And for that reason, alone, because I have got lots of other roots, I am going to remove it. I'm not looking for anything from up there. Right, nice to get something from the back there. Uh, I don't want that. It's going to sit like that, so I've got that as a nice scent. Right. I'm much away to myself. I'm not even sure that I'm making sense to anyone who's listening. <laughs> I know, probably the best thing to do is to soak this and I can see it properly. That is a lovely, lovely flare. Well, I'm happy with the amount of roots and, and, and this year, if I'm going around collecting 30, 35 of these um, and they're not costing me anything, then truthfully, if all I get is four or five, 
that look like that. I mean, wow, you can do so much, so many options with that, so many options. Really is a wonderful, it's worth it. That's, that's worth all the, the day spent digging in the last two years, potting it up and just moving around parts of the garden. This is old, old wound sealant from when I took big branches off. No need to remove it, it will naturally come away when it's dried off. So, right, I'm going to find a pot for it and then we'll uh, get that potted up. I think this can go into a decent pot actually. Ended up uh, going with uh, a mica brown pot, um, mainly because I haven't got a rectangular one that fits with the particular root structure I'm looking at. It's a single hole, which means I've got to use a bridge. So, that's what I've just set up. a mound up on it so I'll be okay make sure we get roots where we want them and not the wrong place okay and the only problem here we don't want that one I don't want to necessarily mark the um what's going to be the nabari um, but I do want it solid in the pot okay now as I said with oak they do Squash him. Oh, there you go. Right. Um, I think I just did a, um, a back foot drive on that bee. You watch his mates will come back and do a back foot drive on me. Just going to do it hard enough that it'll give it a degree of. Security in there. And because of the base of it, it's going to be fairly solid anyway. It's in there. I won't be throwing it around. But solid enough that it shouldn't wagging away in the wind. Well hopefully people who are watching this will be looking at this going this has the potential to be a very very nice oak and one that I would imagine I don't make too much of a mess but look pretty good in a collection. So I'm not worried about showing off that, um, that lovely flared root structure, Nabari, yet. What I want to do is get a nice mass of roots growing underneath it. Just see what we get growing on this. This is the area that I really hope to see develop. The other side has already got quite a good root structure. Round bowl is that there's no, there's 
no problem where the front is. Oh, maybe there. Um, so, this is some basic. That's quite long there. We've got a nice little there. I'm actually going to hold on to it there. Uh, we've got something coming out there. I don't want that to overtake. So we'll get rid of that so keep them in line. Two. Buds will come from there. Buds from there. There's two buds there. I don't really want the big one, so I'm going to cut halfway through that. So hopefully that'll encourage that other one to go. I want stuff to come here because I want this to uh, to really thrive. I get my thought process going again. One, two. If I was really, really honest. You don't want that under there, it's coming out almost parallel. Another one here, that's straight lines. You can always deal with the sort of the 90 degree straight with wire, but someone commented the other day, why do I continue to go back to my old cheap pliers? <laughs> I think it's because I've used them so long. I'm aware of the limitations. I'm aware of where the, um, the flaws are in them, but I'm just so used to using them. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the front. That's going to be put out that way. Stuff will go out there, there. That'll do for now. I really like that. I think that's going to be something really worth watching in the future. I imagine that won't necessarily be on any sort of sale. The fact that I've put it into a decent pot probably indicates that. Anyway, there's a lot more of this sort of quality that are in other pots, but uh, I'll save them for another another filming session. I've got loads of oaks filmed now. So, from Expressions of Gaze, down the bottom of the garden with the barking dog, with the bumbling bee, and the occasional sirens, I shall say adieu, adieu to ya. That from Sound of Music. Adieu, adieu to ya and ya and ya. So all I want to do is see if there's any decisions to make here. Um, little branch. Imagine the front's going to be there because I've got stuff going off the back. So that's looking where the front is. That's not an ideal. It's fairly straight there. It's a little bud there. Hopefully that will come. But what we now want to do is... Some fairly. What I'm doing there is got one there and a division there, and that's really what I'm looking. These here, almost beneath each other, what I can do is potentially try and wire across. Although, if you ever get anything directly underneath or directly on top, it's pretty difficult to, to do a wiring job that looks any good. Um, so at the moment, I'm just clearing it out. With the oak leaves, as you've seen, I'll take off one or two just to allow for circulation. Or excuse me, chance to have a look and see if it's healthy or not. This is probably the healthiest of the ones I've seen. Um, lower down, this branch is quite close into the trunk, but I may take it, wire it further over if it grows up. Grows up. <laughs> So all I'll do is just take away some of the furthest leaves. Um, two little buds in there as well. Now here's an example. This is coming out quite a long way. But what I can see... Is bud there. So I want that bud there to be honest. Um, there's also, if you look right on there, there's two buds there. They're very solid brown. You see they're really healthy looking brown, so they're ready to go. So I can definitely cut to these if I want them. But, I definitely there's two there, so I'm going to go all the way back. We've got this little mess going on in there. A bit 
chaotic. I don't want that. So it's an interesting movement there, that's for sure. Coming back on itself. It all depends. If those two buds send branches out, that's going to look really good. Um, this thing here. I mean, the main. Hmm, it's probably when it's come up higher. I'm not sure. I mean, this could do with becoming a thicker branch. So I might just let it keep running. Take the top ones off. Yeah, this is an example where I'll just let it keep running. Hopefully, we'll get it right out here and thicken that right up. And that may allow me actually to eventually just remove that whole ugly thing. So I've got this there, but I may not use it. Uh, looking here, lots of straights. Um, that's an example where I've got one, two, three. I tend to go to three leaves, and then I may cut one off. So there's potential three bud points there. Uh, looking down here, the main tree. If you look under there, it got really ugly. This business going on here. I don't like it, but what could look good is from there. So I may now go all the way back. And it does, it seems like I'm getting quite um, two there. One, two, three. So I'm going to take off there. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to allow this to develop a little bit slower. But just keep the shape. See, that is very likely those buds are going to go and really send something out. So I'll be happy with that. Maybe it's. Okay, so looking at this thing here, mm, that is a horrible straight. What I don't want to do, if I take that out, then I'm basically going to have this great big sort of bowl shape, bowl shape in the middle here of emptiness. Um, so though I don't like that for now, I'm just going to leave it. Don't like it is too straight, but I don't want to lose that's filling a space. Certainly until something else, maybe something else will come up or develop. Hmm. Maybe it won't. See, the other answer is if you if you take that away, the tree says, "Huh, let me send something else out." Hmm. And then we look at this one back here. got fairly straight side on that. Okay, that'll do for there. And at this top end, got a horrible, something's happened there. You see leaves like that, yeah, you've got spies and all sorts in there. Try and cut the offending creatures away if you can. And here, one, two, three. I don't want the growth here on the growth lower down so we'll control that. This is one of the uh, walk keepers for me. Uh, really like this one. You can see a lot of potential for it. And uh, this is this is when the uh, advantages of um, being able to do your little digs or find somewhere that does feel grown stock comes in quids in because all that hard work of waiting for something to get a good uh, a reasonable trunk on it. I mean, this is never going to be the big stuff. I've got an example of one of those in a minute. Yeah, really happy with that. And I love working with oaks. Uh, oh, I haven't put my gold in there. We go. 